So today I want to talk about Rocky. Um, it's the first video I'm making after he passed. Uh, it's been like 10, 12 days now. And uh, it's, it's really tough, but I, I need to talk about it because all of you are facing the same fate, unfortunately, uh, which is at some point you're going to lose your dog, your beloved dog, your best friend, the dog you've been training with, you spent all your time with, maybe even more uh, time with the dog than with your spouse and kids because that's what happens is these dogs need you they can't survive on their own like they need you all the time to feed and to exercise them to do all the things to stay alive and and you know through the training that we've done and to the people that are on the program they know what kind of connection you can create by teaching these dogs so many things that they become completely literally synced in tune with you and that just is a very, very special bond. People that have followed me along the years, they know when I talk with passion about the synchronicity, the dog aligning with you, the dog having so much fun, you know, that drive that you can manage, that you can control that power. I was always referring to Rocky and Rocky is the third dog that I lost. Like I had two police dogs already from puppy till the very end. And, uh, and this is the third one that I went to service with, that I've trained, that I've made videos with, that people know all around the world, that we inspired them with all our exercises and stuff. And, uh, and yeah, unfortunately, these things don't last. And um, it's very tough, you know, because this is one of the spots that I always used to be with Rocky. Here's, here's uh, where he was brought up. He went on his walks on the daily here. So coming here in this in this forest and uh, and not having him having him with me is very strange. It's weird. It feels almost surreal because you know th this is so familiar that you do this every day. You, and subconsciously, sometimes you think, oh, if ever something would happen to my dog, what's what's gonna how that's gonna affect me, for example. But you're never really prepared for this kind of stuff. Even though I've lost dogs before, yeah, you never imagine you know, what it's going to be like once they're not here anymore. And um, yeah, we need to talk about this because it shouldn't keep you from doing all the things you want to do. You know, I wouldn't trade the grief that I have now for not knowing Rocky and then just being all happy. But that's just the way it is. It's a circle of life. If you have a dog, most of the time you're going to survive your dog. So, uh, but in the meantime, I think it's also important to highlight what you should do with that time to have that quality time. You know, a lot of people feel a guilt when their dog passes because they either didn't spend enough time with them or they were just like too busy and the dog was, was doing his own thing. I think what truly matters is when you do spend that time with your dog, that that time you spend is 100% like quality time. You train together, that's the highlights of your life with the dog. That's when you remember, oh, remember he did this and he, and he, you know, he didn't understand this exercise and then he caught it and then he just elevated himself. And that's what you guys do is you elevate each other. You elevate your dog by developing skill, by creating purpose, by letting him do all the things he could not have done without you. And vice versa is this dog is teaching you so much about development, about being a good trainer, about uh, enhancing your techniques, about developing your own skill on and on every day. And that makes you a better person, a better trainer, a better coach, in my case. And, that, and that's why the, the grief is so big because, you know, you have to move on. And I've, I do have some news that uh, either today or tomorrow, we will have the last letter of Rocky, uh, which was uh, unexpected, of course, that he was going to pass away. But we did have a female uh, that was... Uh, mating with Rocky like two months back and uh, yeah we're gonna have a few puppies it's not gonna be a big litter but you know I have uh, you know hopes up that I can you know see his face again in, in those puppies you know people that have followed us have seen how the puppies look like and the very strong lookalikes of, of Rocky and it just you know it's really special if you could see those features back you you get reminded of your dog and then you can relive and redo all the things that I've done with my past dogs. They've inspired me to do it with another dog. And now at this point, what Rocky needs to do is he's been such a great inspiration. Thank you all for commenting thousands of people uh, and sharing his video uh, of his memoriam. And um, 
I think it's our duty now to, to make sure that we can keep inspiring the world to train dogs like Rocky, train like Rocky and have a connection like us. And uh, it's something that I wish upon everyone because it's the most amazing thing in the world. Thank you.